Hello, we would be discussing for today the first step in recording, and that is your transaction analysis and using transaction equation. Okay, now what are the steps? You have five steps in transaction analysis. Aside from transaction equation, that's number one. We have accounting elements and your effects of transaction, theory of debit and credit, and chart of account. The coverage of our discussion is just step one. And incidentally, we already discusses before the accounting element. So we're going to relate it already. Now, what is again our transaction equation? Value received is equal to value parted with. And it talks about exchange. Transaction is exchange, isn't it? And there needs to be two parties involved. Hindi pwedeng magkarelasyon ng nag-iisa ka lang. Okay? Kailangan meron kang kasama na magiging give and take. Okay? When someone gives you something, you will receive it. And in exchange, you will give him something. So you have a value parted with. And who is the party that we are representing? The sole proprietorship. Okay? Now, what did we, what are the values that we can possibly receive? Oh, familiar sa inyo to? Si asset ni firm, si liability ni creditor, at si equity ni owner. It's what we own as asset. And what we owe because the creditor has a claim and the owner has a claim. Likewise, what you're going to part with is just the same with what you're going to receive. Okay? It's, it's just uh, looking at which one have I received or have I parted with. So we're going to have sample. Okay? So... What's the relationship of transaction equation with accounting elements? Ale is, are the items that you're going to receive and ale will be the items or elements that you're going to part with. Okay, so these are your accounting elements. Why are we discussing it at the same time? Because we would like to have efficiency, not only effectiveness. That is synergy effect. Okay, let's have the first sample. You cannot have a business without the investment of the owner. And the first question that you have to ask yourself is who? Because what you will receive and what you part with will be very much dependent on who? Of course, the sole proprietor. What does the sole proprietor receive from the owner? What? What? Ano ba binigay ng owner? Cash. O di yun yung matatanggap. Eh, nung tinanggap mo yung cash as a sole proprietorship, ano, nilabas mo? Ano nilabas mo? Tingin nyo, ano nilalabas ng negosyo pag nag i ang may-ari? Tingnan natin. No? It is right of ownership. Bakit right of ownership? Eh, syempre, as a business, ikaw lang naman ang may karapatan na magbigay sa kanya na pagmamay-ari niya ang negosyo. Okay, this one is tangible. This is property. This one is a right. Now, pag tinanggap mo yung cash, ano ito sa'yo? Sa'yo na yan. Property mo na yan. So, asset mo. Tapos ito, syempre, equity yan. Kasi right of ownership. Yan yung original investment. Sino yung part, sabi nga, exchange. Sino yung ka-exchange si sole proprietorship? Di business. ba diba? 
si owner. Okay? So, yung asset tsaka yung equity, yan yung inyong accounting element. Okay? Oh, let's go to the next example. Nagbenta ka ng serbisyo at binayaran ka ng pera. You are, sino uli ang involved? The sole proprietorship. Ano tinanggap ng negosyo nung nagbenta siya? Siyempre, kas. Ano yung kanyang inilabas? Eh, siyempre, service. At alam natin na ang kas, pag tinatanggap, sa atin yan, pag-aari mo, asset. Ngayon, itong serbisyo, ano ba to? Remember, cash is tangible. Ang service intangible. Eh, kaya lang yan yung binibenta mo. Equity yan. Magiging kita mo yan. ba? Diba? Sino ang karelasyon ni, ni business? Si customer. Kasi ikaw dito ay, uh, ikaw yung nagbebenta. ba? Diba? Si, si negosyo. Si sole proprietorship. At si customer yung bumibili. Okay? Oh, let's go to the third sample. Ito naman, yung binigay mong serbisyo, inutang. Inutang. Okay? O, laging ang perspective natin, si sole proprietorship, yung business, ha? Ano tinanggap ng business? E di syempre, pangako. Pag may nangungutang sa'yo, ano lang ba tinatanggap mo? Pangakong ako'y magbabayad. E, ano nilabas mo? Siyempre, serbisyo. Eh, binibenta mo nga serbisyo. Kita nyo to parehas na right yung inilabas at pinasok. Yung given up, service. Yung receive, promise to pay. Pag tinatanggap mo'y pangako, anong karapatan meron ka? Maningil. Karapatan o asset yan. ba? Diba? O, eh, 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 naglabas ka ng service, diba sabi natin, nagbibenta ka nga, o the income yan, yun yung elements. Sino yung karelasyon mo uli dyan? Yung customer. O, punta na tayo susunod. Yung, ngayon, ikaw ang bumili. Kangina, ikaw ang nagbibenta. No? O, di ang involved pa din, business. Ano ang binili mo? Supply. Kaya yun yung tatanggapin mo. Eh, dahil inutang mo, ikaw naman ngayon ang mga ngako na magbabayad dun sa inutang mo. At yung tinanggap mong supplies, magiging sa'yo na yan. Magiging pag-aari mo. Ari, ari, an. Asset. Eh, yung promise to pay, ikaw na nga ako. Ikaw naglabas ng pangako. May obligasyon ka ngayon. ba? Diba? Na magbayad. Sinong karelasyon mo dyan? Eh, di yung nagbebenta ng supply kasi ikaw ngayon ay buyer. Yan. Ano yung susunod? Nako, bumili ka ng supplies on account. Yung kangina, uh, bumili ka din ng supplies on credit basis. And that is, ito naman, yung binili mong supplies, binayaran mo. Yung inutang mo, binayaran mo na ngayon. Ulitin ko ah, yung inutang, binabayaran mo na. Yung inutang, binabayaran mo na. Eto, inutang mo yan. Kangina, ayan o, oh, inutang nyo. Ngayon, babayaran mo na. Sino magbabayad? Yung sole proprietorship. O di pag magbabayad ka, syempre, ano tatanggapin mo? Thank you, bayad ka na. ba? Diba? Acknowledgement. O di ano yan? Acknowledgement na wala ka ng utang. Wala ka ng utang. ba? Diba? At ang ipambabayad mo, ilalabas mo pera. Kaya ang maaapektohan dyan, yung asset mo. ba? Diba? Yan. Ang karelasyon mo pa din dyan, yung seller, yung pinagbilan mo kasi doon ka sa kanya may utang. Okay. At ikaw yung may utang. No, yung buyer. Okay. So, at yung seller mo, yung creditor. ba? Diba? Ayan. Oh. Eh, paano? Kung yung owner gusto niya mag-withdraw? Ano ba tatanggapin? O, uh, ulitin ko ah, sino? Sino involved? Sino ang i-record natin? Yung sole proprietorship, yung business pa din na. Ah. Mm. Anong tatanggapin ng business galing kay owner? Thank you, binigyan mo ako ng pera. Diba? Acknowledgement yon na 
mababawasan yung equity niya kasi withdrawal. Yung investment niya mababawasan eh. Kumuha siya ng cash for personal use eh. Eh dahil inilabas cash. O di yan. O eh nababawasan yung pera mo. No, pera yan. Ang karelasyon mo dyan yung owner. Kasi for you to have an exchange dapat laging may dalawang party involved. O ito naman. Yung kangina inutang mo yung supplies. O ngayon binibili mo na siya on cash basis. Aba parehas na ang involved dyan tangible. Ano tinanggap ng negosyo? Supplies. Ano nilabas ng negosyo? Cash. Parehas na asset. Ang karelasyon mo, yung seller, kasi ikaw, buyer. Siyempre, normal na namamasahero ka pag may negosyo. O di, pag namasahero ka, ano natanggap ng negosyo? Eh di yung service nung pampasahero. Diba? Service nung tricycle, service nung bus, service nung jeep, nung XLT. O eh, gastos mo yan. Expense yan. Diba? Tapos, yung ilalabas mo, ano pinambabayad mo pagka namamasahe ka, cash, o di mababawasay pera mo. No? Sino ang katransaksyon mo? Di seller nung, ano, nung services, yung yung bus company, gano'n, may ari nung tricycle. Yan. So, expense yan, ha? Remind ko, ha? Yan. So, these are the sample that we have. We're going to um, make use of exercises and then we'll answer it outright uh, so let's have the reflect review when it says we apply the elements of ale we apply accrual because we can only determine what was the value received and value parted with kung walang nangyari sa inyo kailangan may mangyari muna yan ang accrual at nung may nangyari sa inyo sino ang karelasyon mo, sinong kasama mo, at ano yung tinanggap at nilabas mo. Okay? So, as part of our activities, there I will uh, upload in uh, exercises, no? For you to enhance your skills in transaction equation and what you need as your know-how to apply and have the skill would be the elements and uh, accrual accounting and the business entity concept. O wag kakalimutan kung sino kayo ha pag nakikipagrelasyon. Sino kayo? Si sole proprietorship. O ano yung daladala nyong baon? Elements. Ano? Ano yun? Ale. Asset, liability, equity. At gagawa ka lang ng action. Action. Do it. Pag. May nangyari na sa inyo. Hindi pwedeng assuming, ano? Kailangan may nangyari na bago may i-record. Eh kasi kung wala naman nangyari, may tatanggapin ka ba at may ilalabas? Wala. Ano 'yun? Accrual. Okay? So, thank you very much for listening. I we are going to have other video for the other steps. Good day.